still love him, you know. Is that why you want to stick around? No. You're both just kids. Why does everyone keep saying that? Because we know what life has in store. I know you think your world is falling apart now, but it's not. You'll bounce back, you both will. What do you think? I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. Sorry, Mum. I'm not going to change my mind. I think you've had enough. No matter what you say, we both know you're not happy here. So what is keeping you? I've got this place. Yeah, but it's holding you back. That's why I wanted you to sell it. This could be the seed money you need to finally start growing. You could start a proper business. Go travelling and make something of yourself. I don't suppose that's going to happen now. I don't need to sell this place to do that. You what? Well, I've got money. Dad left me more than enough to buy this place. And with the rent from upstairs, it just keeps going up. How much? Well, more than I know what to do with. Well, where is it then? <laughs> what do you think it is? A bank. I thought you said it had enough. And I think you've had a lifetime of people trying to control you. I'd never do that to you, love. What was that teddy you had as a kid? Snuggles, wasn't it? Snuffles. Yeah. That's the one. You love that thing. That was when we lived at Delcourt, wasn't it? Why do you want to talk about the past? Because it wasn't all bad, was it? Me and you, we had some laughs. Yeah, I guess. Why don't you shut your eyes, love? Been a hell of a week. Liv? Everything all right? Yeah, um, Vinny was just trying to call you again. I didn't want it to wake you. So it's got nothing to do with the fact my bank account's pretty much empty. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. You're drunk, love. No, I'm not. Give me the phone, Mum. Love, I really think we need to take a step back. We're going round in circles here. I don't need to see it. I know what you've done. 
They've really done a number on you, haven't they? Who? Mandy, Vinny, and that moron from the Orledge. I mean, what's he got to do with this anyway? They have poisoned you against me. You're unbelievable. And you're drunk. I don't care what you say. You cannot be in the right frame of mind after what you have just put away. Do you want some? Are you scared you're going to fall off the wagon too? It's water. I figured I'd put enough vodka in water bottles over the years. It's about time I did the opposite. I don't know why you're doing this. Don't you? How about the fact that you've been lying to me since the second you got here? Oh, I haven't. Have you not? Because that's the only explanation I come up with. Don't try and tell me that you came here because you love me and then decided to steal from me. I haven't. I swear to you. Oh, because you can do something like that, could you? Like you couldn't steal from a she? Blackmail him? I should have seen it. Manny tried to warn me. But after yesterday, when he tried to get Jimmy to pay me cash for this place, rather than go through the estate agent, I couldn't keep lying to myself. <sighs> so that's why you cancelled the viewing. <laughs> You've lost it, love. I, I don't know what else to say to you. How could you do this to me, Mum? How could you try and ruin my life? Dad was a monster, but you're no better. Oh, don't you dare. I took you away from him. I protected you. Where's that mum? Where's she gone? You never really did protect me after that, did you? But I've always been there for you. You abandoned me. What, by coming here? I did that after a lifetime of trying to hold you together. That was never my job. I was a child. Don't rewrite history. There were good times. Yeah, there were good times. And that makes the bad ones all the worse because it shows that every selfish, horrible thing you've ever done, you made a choice to do that. It didn't have to be like this. You know what the worst bit about it is if, you, if you're honest with me, if you'd asked, I'd probably give you the money. That's not true. Name one time that I haven't dropped everything to help you out. I did it because I owed Terry money. I know you thought that was all done with, but he came back. He said that I owed him a lot more than what we'd agreed upon and that he would hurt you if I didn't get it. Oh, so you thought you'd pay him off to protect me, did you? Yeah. All this talk about a new life in Spain. Yeah, but we'd have figured it. You're a resourceful girl. I can't believe you're still lying to me, Mum. Fine. So what do you want to do now? What do you mean? Well, you know what I've done. It's you that's got to make the decision now, not me. You don't think I'll just call the police? I think you're too good a person to do that. God knows how long they'd lock me away for. Look what happened to your dad when they... I'm going to go upstairs now. And I'm going to pack a bag. And I'm going to leave. And life will go on. No more needs to be said, okay?